All right, welcome everyone to Sekiro. Here we are before this boss dude. First boss dude of the game, and he seems pretty damn difficult. The one thing I realized, and people keep telling me, is that uh, I am trying to dodge way too much. This is a game where dodging ain't that good. And I'm doing it way too much. So. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, I, I. Oh, you can grapple. Okay, not anytime. Shit. Heal. Oh, he can throw it as well. God damn it. So yeah, again, people tell me, and I'm trying to like um, keep a balance between paying attention to the comments that give me tips, but also trying to not get anything spoiled. Yeah, people say like dodging is very, very situational in this game, so I shouldn't do it. It's blocking and uh, timing your blocks It's the thing to do in this game. So I'm going to try doing that. I'm also going to try not falling off. Because that is a, not a good move. But yeah, if push comes to shove, what I'm going to do is we will uh, start cutting. As I tend to do when I die multiple times. In a soul. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to. Alright, whatever. Just gotta time or get his timings down. First of all, gives you quite a few chances to strike at him. Okay. And then back off. Just gonna pay attention to... Yeah. When you can grapple onto him. Like right here. Oh, and that's a, such a hard habit to break. The not dodging. Shit. Oh. There's a chance to get some hits in. So yeah, you can for sure avoid that bullshit. That swing bullshit. Oh man. Would be nice if I had some sort of like air move. Break it. Nice. So yeah, that's for sure the tactic. What the fuck? And apparently, people also say that the, the recovery system is fairly forgiving in this game. Oh shit. Come here, boy. Okay, that was already way better than any other attempt. So yeah, I think we got this. I'm not going to resurrect because that would be just bad news. Uh, there's no way I could take him with zero healing items. Uh, also, another thing I found out is that those experience points that you get, you cannot actually drop down a level. So if you have two experience points and the bar is going and you keep dying, 
you will never drop below level 2. So it's actually impossible to lose a level, which really kind of fits into the idea. People say that this game is both way harder than any of the Souls games, but in some aspects also way more forgiving. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see. After this attempt though, I'll start editing my fails, because we don't want to make this too boring. See how, like, I'm pretty much just, like, mashing there. And it's, like, very lenient. Yeah. Get over here. Shame it's, like, not a scorpion spear. I'm talking MK scorpion. Shit! Oh, I should have kept blocking. I tried parrying. Uh, you know what? We are taking a risk. Just because he is so close to breaking and I have all my healing items. Okay. Now heal. Attacks. Jeez. Shit. How did I? I, I just pressed the dodge button. Not even gonna pretend that was tactical. Ah, oh, my nose is itching. No. Fuck. Heal. Heal. Motherfucker. Wait, what? Hell yeah. If you land me. My butt is so tight. They clenched. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab, yes. Fuck you. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's an extra thing you need to press. My bad, my bad. Shinobi execution. Gyobu Masataka Oniwa. Oh, his horse disappears as well? Dang. Okay, good thing I was recording. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Mechanical barrel. It's a prosthetic tool. Holy shit, that... okay. Yeah, I, I... at this point I figured that out. Thank you, game. I cannot believe it. That wasn't, in the end, actually as bad as I thought it would be. He seemed like nearly impossible at the start, but... Now it's like, okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Of course we don't got this, probably, but... Hey, you can always hold out hope. All right. Final bem, yeah. Okay. I'll take that. I will take that. Let's go ahead and rest. And I don't know what to do now in terms of like, I don't have a lot of cash, but we certainly could go on here. 
or we could visit the other area, the past. I really want to find... I haven't found one of those mini-bosses in a while because that would give me a new prayer bead, a fourth one. And I really need that to get my HP up. Oh, hello. Oh. That dude is... No longer alive. But hey, he's not the only one. I'm betting you that that's a shortcut back to the other side here. It certainly looks like it. Oh, hello. I have like no cash. Yeah, they keep talking of this memorial. Oh, this, these are the dudes. I thought that was a different thing entirely. What do you sell? Dragon blood droplet. Increase resurrection power. Resurrection, I keep... I'm never not gonna think of Third Strike and Gil when they talk about resurrection. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with the lore... Uh, there is a super boss, basically, named Gil in uh, Street Fighter Third Strike, who is incredibly strong, and he can basically resurrect himself, and they just, in like a really epic voice, just says resurrection, and it's really cool. Hello. You have a cool mask. Holy shit, he's tall. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Trying to make it cinematic. Holy shit, he's tall. Or you can make it like this. He for sure has a washing bowl. What a genius. He figured out our name. Sekiro. Oh, how fitting. Tengo of Ashina. He's going to turn out to be our like father or something. Okay. I like this dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. He looks like he's a friend. Let's do it. No pain, no gain. Soapstone. Description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Speak to the Tango again once the rats are dealt with. The rats. Assassins from Sampu Temple. Short stature wear bamboo hats. A number of rats are lurking about. Last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. Oh, it's just like he gives loud assassination orders. That's cool. Yeah, okay. I thought we were gonna, like, you know, tag team and partner up and be all cool and shit. But I guess not. I saw the other lady, of course, I didn't miss her. Luckily, I'm not that blind. Hello? Yes. How very cheery of you. Probably produces yokai. 
doesn't it? I've played Neo, I know all the all the lore. Man, again, just to reiterate what I said in the previous episode. This game is so much better in Japanese originally. Uh, I heard the English voices and they're just like so weird. So weird. So yeah, this is way better. No wonder they recommended it. Okay, so that is a convenient shortcut. I think. Let me just check what's upstairs. I'll check out this little assassination order. No problems. Light coin purse. We can Tomb Raider up if we want. Or is this Tomb Raidering? This is more like spider Manning, but... Whatever. And I assume... Hmm. I really thought I could Tomb Raider that. But maybe not. Let me just try again because that to me for sure 100% looks like something I could climb up. Or. Oh yeah, I kind of, I overthought that, didn't I? Hey, secret area. Do you, you don't happen to have a mini boss here, do you? That I can take. Oh, a treasure chest. What if the first one is a mimic? Are mimics even a thing in this game? Prayer. Oh, just what I wanted. How convenient. Okay, that's the end of the road here. Oops. Yeah, no fall damage though. So again, I'll go and do his little assassination side quest. Unless, what if it turns out to be like evil? Because pretty much all the characters who give assassination orders in this game, or in these games, tend to be bastards. What if he's one as well? Do a little Naruto run. Okay, so enhanced physical attributes. First player... In Player necklace. Well, that's very good. I'm very happy about that. Let's go to the dilapidated temple and check out this new shinobi thingy I got. And I've even managed to avoid spreading the dragon rot. I don't know how the hell my uh, resurrection kind of re spawned or restocked that quickly, but I don't give a shit. Dying Samurai Training Mikiri counter unlocked. We'll go check that out. What up? Kinda had a feeling. Just shake it up, you know. Turn these people upside down, grab them by the leg and just shake them a bit. The natural life for them. It's kind of a dick thing to do then, isn't it? An item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol in the recovery charm. With the recovery charm in hand. Fuck me. Okay. Well, that's very convenient. Okay. I will for sure do that. Don't worry. Zero deaths from now on. So. 
We're doing very well. We will be doing very well. That was the correct statue, wasn't it? It said the Buddha. Oh no, it said Sculptor's Idol, didn't it? Fuck. Well, whatever. Guess we're taking a trip to the past. Yeah, okay, I didn't mean to. Okay. Dragon Rot Restoration. I keep confusing the Sculptor's Idol and the Buddha statue. We'll get back here soon enough. Soon enough? Yeah. And let's go do an assassination. That boss was cool though. Again, that's the thing I really gotta let go. People just keep telling me that uh, this game is all about blocking and the countering. Like, dodging aside from dodging like grabs and all that is not very good. And jumping is also important, which I tend to not do. Yep, yep. A gun, maybe? Oh. So this is like a permanent upgrade? Sounds good, I guess. I knew it. I knew it. It's a gun. I found some scraps of iron. Haven't I? I seem to remember something. Oh yeah, upgrade prosthetic tool. Holy shit. Okay. You need cash. Okay, it looks like we have plenty of options. Cobra. Yeah, yeah. I got you. What we need to do is... Just come over here and check out this Mikiri counter. It's a Nigiri counter. Man, do I like Nigiri, though. Yeah. Ooh, shit. That's very forgiving. It's cool, he just like strips steps on the sword like... Yeah, that seems like... I don't know if it's just this dude. But... That timing seems very forgiving. I guess it's more of a thing about... Uh, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do the rest of them. Although these are very... Okay. thought there might be some like a reward for them, but... I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. Just let me do my stuff. Whatever. I also have this. Which is cool, but it looks useless. Very good. Oh. I knew that something would happen. It's easy for you. You know. Fine. He just wants to die, doesn't he? Oh, oh no, no, he's chill. Let's begin. Free combat. 
What the hell? What the hell is all this? I see the potential of a reward. That's why I'm... That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, I should dodge that. Nice. -o. Three times? Yes. Oh, no. No, no. There better be... Holy shit. We'll, we'll look at these later. I'm bored of tutorials. Figured most of this game out, I think. Well, it's a arrogant thing to say, but hey. So we need to travel to the gate. The Ashina Castle gate. Let me just look at this uh, assassination order. I don't know where you find these key items. Uh, this is a good question. Upgrade materials, key items, that's it. Red description. Uh, the rats. Assassin from Sampu Temple. Short stature, wear bamboo hats. Number of rats are lurking about. Last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. Alright. Of course, the thing is... Does he mean Ashina Castle Gate in that we need to proceed further and that's where they are or if they're like back where we came from because there's a door we can open here and you know that's my that's my concern not concern but that's a wrong word for it but just what i'm thinking about Okay. That dude wears bamboo hats. A bamboo hat. Have a shuriken. Oh wow, that dealt a lot of damage to him. I cannot believe it. I killed something with a shuriken. I don't know, bruh. About this ass assassination. Assassination. Whatever. Probably got plenty of time to figure it out. Not exactly in a hurry. Yeah, show me the treasure and give me no option to get to it. Don't mind me. Telling you, don't mind me. Absolutely nothing to see here. Except... I keep fucking up the... Okay, I did not fuck it up. So I keep fucking those up. Whatever. There's a lot of doggos there. I'm not sure if it's what I want to be dealing with right now. Especially since the, I just noticed that there's a fucking fly on my TV, which is annoying. I could just blast the dogs and do all that, kill the dude. Damn. I don't even know what to say, it just catches me off guard that they made the dog so easy. 
I don't even know. I don't even know. And just never mind me. As in the dude that almost caught me. That's what I'm talking about. Alcohol, sugar. These to me seem like the type of items I will keep throughout the entire game. You know, you know what I talk about, like elixirs in Final Fantasy. You're always like, nah, I'm gonna save that for the next battle. The next battle. And then you're at the end of the game and you have like 50 fucking elixirs and you didn't end up using them even at the final boss. That's how I always end up. Come on. Let me grapple like, up there. Are you gonna cog block me like that, game? Seriously? It's all good. We have stealth opportunities. I do like me some stealth. Speaking of... There's two of them. Fuck. What I'm doing here is called a tactical retreat. Oh, hello. What an idiot. Just like standing in front of his dead bodies like, what the hell? Okay, ignore what just happened there. Damn, there is another one. Sneaky. Speaking of sneaky, doesn't this fat dude want to come a little closer? Hmm. Oh, wait. These things draw an enemy's attention. Look at this. I'm a pro stealth gamer. These guys are dumb as hell. I'm dumb as hell. It's a grab. Is that a grab? It's a jump move, isn't it? A real test of my combat abilities. As in getting my ass kicked. Yes, one down. About to get my shit broken. But that only took a shit ton of healing items. follow-ups though I think a tactical retreat is called for wait what happens if I do this he's gonna freak out That follow-up is really annoying, but this is good. Dang. So this thing, this Robert's firecracker or whatever, is basically a distraction tool. That pretty much fell apart very quickly, didn't it? Uh, I want it to be a little bit more subtle, but hey. Maybe subtlety is not my strong suit. 
Why can I do that before, like, grapple up to the, all this cool shit? Wonderful. Speaking of grappling up to cool shit. Damn. Just... Just ignore me. Okay. Yeah, that didn't exactly work out, did it? It did not. I was so close, though. I was very close. Okay, well. That was... Highly anticlimactic. I was doing so well, too. I think what I'm gonna do is... Okay, thank you. I was just about to say... I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is wrap up this episode here. I know this was shorter than the other ones, but you know, as I said, I tried to shoot for like 35 to 45 minutes, but if there's like a convenient time to end it, you know, I'll take that. And now I think it's a pretty convenient time. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.